Hey, welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. We have video today from Shaq Reacts. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. That's good. Ciao. It's Chow Time. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Shaq Reacts here once again. And today's some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. And like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is pretty wild. This man finds out that he's not the father. Because she's a groupie. I'm she a knows. jump off. I'm a groupie, though. I'm a groupie all of a sudden. I found out about this chick. When she came to me about the baby, I found out about it on Facebook over my mother's. That's house. a lie, y'all. I, I, I was on the internet. I was scrolling down the news feed. I seen it on the internet. Then she put my picture. She, she sure took my did. picture. After he put that about me on his Facebook and page. And put you are the father. This was on the internet, y'all. So, wait a minute. So, 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 you two so did? I sure this did. This is three years later, too, now. Let me get this right. Okay, y'all. so I, what? I've been incarcerated and everything. This is three years later, now. Because I thought another man was her dad. And I you texted could, him and it came back negative. Okay, and you the next possibility because I was messing with you around the time I got pregnant. Yana. I, I kid you not. She came to the club with the baby on her arm yelling, you are the father. This is your baby. Why aren't you taking your care of your baby? You're a dead be dead. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. So that didn't happen. Miss Hensley, you never. I never had my baby. Yana, in, at the not club. only the club though, Yana. She's coming to the studio. I'm leaving out the studio with me and my friends and my partners. We leaving out. She's showing up at the studio with this baby. You agreed to do the blood test. Why you agreed to do it before then? What made you change your manager, Marcus? So, Miss Tinsley, you're saying that there was a time when he agreed flat out, I'll take the blood Real? test. Yeah, he agreed to it, and they was gonna cut off my welfare check, Mr. Hunt. You are not oh, yes. her Thank father. Yes. Yeah, wow. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Yana. Okay, I'm sorry. Good luck. Good luck to you, Jamie, and finding your, your daughters. Wow. Did you guys hear that? She actually apologized. I'm actually quite surprised by that one. Father. Thank you. Yana. Thank you. Miss Tinsley? Are you okay? Father. You okay? Now, of course, like always, I'm gonna say that every single man should be doing a DNA test, especially if that girl has been around a couple places. If she's known in the streets for doing certain things, a DNA test should always be required. But to some sense. extent, you have to hold this man accountable. Why are you messing around with a woman like this? Men need to do better at selecting good women to be sleeping with, or True. else your future could look like this. He should be blessed to know that he got out of this one lucky. Be careful what you say, man. I'm sitting in the crib with my family, and a message pop across my screen. It said, hey, call me. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just had your daughter. That's already a very sus conversation. Nine months later, you didn't have any contact with this man. But now you do? She's def I'm pretty sure I, I just had your daughter. What a way to break it. We've been hooking up with a bunch of other men, but let's continue. Ah, yo, ah, what? And the look, I, I obviously had a look on my face. Mm -hmm. And my sister, she just so happened to like kind of look over at me. And she saw the look on my face. She got up slow as hell, like, who pregnant? We met up like a week later, and the crazy, she's sending me pictures or whatever, and the crazy thing, ain't a lot of baby looked like me, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, fuck. I, my mind blown. So I'm like, all right, damn, okay, well, we need a test or whatever. So she come down, she had moved to like another state. Uh, so she, she come back to Chicago. We go get the test or whatever, and I, I, I'm the baby. I'm holding this baby. I'm like, damn, the baby look like me, G. Like, damn, I got a. It was a, it was a daughter. It was a girl. I'm like, I got a, I got a daughter. So to speed the story up, um, we were in the DNA test office, and this is okay. This is how God work, right? <laughs> so we in the, we sense. in the DNA test place, and it's me, her, and the baby in the middle. He's going over like how the results are gonna come. He like, all right, um, we can give you a call. We can call you and tell you the results, and then uh, we like we gonna, we gonna mail a letter too. Well, all right, cool. But as soon as he said that, out of nowhere, the baby just started crying hysterically, like, like something's happening to the baby. So she picked the baby up, leave the office or whatever, and uh, and I was like, you can uh, you can call her. Or whatever. I don't know why I said it. Yeah, big mistake. What is he thinking? The reason you do a DNA test is for your clarity, not hers. The yeah. answer should only be going to you because you are the only one affected. I mean, she can also hide it and just lie about it too. That's the other side of things. In this matter. She doesn't hit you up for nine months. Now you can let her choose the answer. But let's see what else happened. I said, you can call her. And he like, okay, I mailed a letter to you. Cool. We go by. Uh, I, I, I hit her up like, yo, did they, did they call you? She like, yeah, they called me. Uh, Yeah, it's, it's yours. Ooh, I was like, all right, shit. I'm like, all right, well, back to regularly scheduled program, you know, moms buy a bunch of clothes and all this type of stuff, and I'm, I'm in daddy mode or whatever. Another week go by, and a, I get a letter, and it said Fed on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is important as hell. It said Federal on it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I open it up. It's the test. 
And that motherfucker say zero probability that the baby mine. Right. I'm like, what? So I, I call. What do we say? What? What we can predict in our minds exactly what was happening right there. Well, I'm like, yo, what the f is your problem? She's like, what's wrong? What, what are you talking about? I'm like, gee, I just got, you didn't even know. Like, I, I just got the actual test results, the letter. And she was like, I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry? I'm like, why would you do that? You know what <laughs> So, bitch. <laughs> so, you sorry. I asked her why. Women do not understand the gravity of trying to pin a child on another man. The man, the amount of shit that men have to go through over this, these women that just can't keep it, their legs closed, and it's not even they just can't keep their legs closed. They can't keep their legs closed from multiple men. That's the problem. If they just kept their legs closed for one man, none of this would be an issue, right? Why would she do that? You know what she told me. What, you a great dad? She said, I saw how much of a good dad you were to your son. I wanted that for my daughter. I don't give a f how good I am to my... That's my son. And of yeah. course, you could say that that was really sad at the end. She only wanted this man because she knows he's going to be a really good dad. Why didn't you select a man like that from the jump? If you knew a man like this exists, why not only mess around with a man like that? But instead, you ended up hooking up with a bunch of other guys, and this guy ended up doing the exact same thing, hooking up with a bunch of other women that he shouldn't have done. If people were just more selective with who they got with, there would be way less single mothers out there. I ain't eat today yet. You supposed to feed me. Left. Okay. You don't know if come out the house home. I didn't say I was hungry. I said I ain't eat. Oh, you ain't eat today? And you not hungry? Left. <laughs> as funny as this is, this is really the case nowadays. What's the percentage? Like 30% of all kids are not their fathers? No. When did you finally let that man from your DM out shopping school? Hey, hey. You just putting your daughter in danger with some strange man just because he was in your DMs shows how wonderful of a mother you actually are. <laughs> That man has white hair on his head, he's an older man, and she's only using this man up to basically pay for the shopping spree. I'm sorry to say, but this man is a simp, and he's probably getting something else in return, though. We all know what that is. So people get triggered when I say this, and I know we're in Idaho, which is a conservative state, but this sign is incorrect because feminine is an incorrect term. It's about gender expression, not even about biology or parts. This should say menstrual. I absolutely... Yeah, I don't need to use any of those products there. That they're called feminine for a reason. I really hate stuff like this. Just go on with your day, mind your business, and no one cares about your emotions. My name is Mike, 41. I'm a doctor. Okay. Okay. Damn. Go, go get no. your balloon back. Stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> okay. okay. Would, I mean, would you like to get your balloon back? I don't know. I kind of want to see what else is there. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. I need to see what's in the ocean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, yeah, it's all good though. You'll never be satisfied if you keep fishing. Mm. Well, if I need to fish, I know where to find you. Uh, I won't be there always. Okay. No, <laughs> Am I the only one that's surprised that all these women rejected a doctor? The moment right? they heard. As soon as man said doctor, like, fifth, like five girls popped their balloons. Doctor, bam, pop the balloon. Like, why? Once again, these women suck at choosing good men. What did you want a man to do? Be a rapper? Be a, a scam artist? Like, I don't get it. You're on rapper. the show because you can't find a good man. Not because you have a lot of options. Just because you have multiple baby daddies does not mean that you are less valuable. The fuck you are. Just because you have multiple baby daddies does not mean that you are less valuable. Bullshit! Just because you have multiple baby daddies does not mean that you are less valuable. Oh, hell. Come on, son. Get the fuck out of here with that. So, Jeff, right here's your butt. Here, here he is, right here. No, here he is, right here. Right here he is. Here's your director, director, and with his employee, my wife. Where are you going? You don't got to leave, dude. That's what I thought. I am leaving. Don't come home. Sorry, I'm not enjoy your job now, a lot of people are saying this man is getting way too emotional screaming in a loud place like that i don't blame him he's gonna get this information send it to the court and at least he has evidence that she was indeed cheating i don't think it's fair when men tell single moms in the comments that we're to blame because we chose the wrong person to yeah. have kids with but then i thought maybe they have a point so i went back and i looked at my old dating profile from when i met my ex-husband and i realized these guys are absolutely right i did ask for this 
I'm searching for a bare minimum guy who reveals the entire different side of himself on our honeymoon. Goals. Be a single mom who's struggling to get child support into. Lack of accountability, abuse, addiction, deadbeats, cheaters, liars. Please destroy my life. No, this is obviously just sarcasm. If you guys read the last picture, she's just being sarcastic, saying that this is exactly what she asked for. The reality is a lot of these women look over red flags. They pursue a man who is wanted by other women and usually overlook good qualities like good morals. Sharing my husband with other women has honestly changed our relationship so much. I have never ever felt so secure, so safe, so comfortable in a relationship before. And who knew it was literally all because I let another woman a lot of other women in it to our circle now i'm sure a lot of people will have a lot to say about this but in all honesty unless you've done it you don't know the feeling like why would he ever leave me for another woman when he can have me and another woman i like this would you guys be surprised if i i mean the logic is there but there's definitely nothing inside. I told you this girl has an OnlyFans page. Of course she does. The only <laughs> reason she's saying this kind of stuff on the internet and saying that she has a husband she can do this kind of stuff with is because she's probably just using this as a marketing tactic. Because a lot of people, specifically simps, like hearing this kind of stuff and end up buying her OnlyFans. It doesn't make any sense to me. Excuse me, $782.92. A month? Yeah. You spend $2,000 a month, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you can afford it. I think one music festival a month is enough. And maybe you should take your daughter with you to the music festival. I don't think so. No? No. Oh. I don't yeah. trust that. Imagine that. She's really prioritizing her happiness and her music festival over, I guess, her child. I keep- Oh my god, guys. The amount of women, young women, that are into raves and music festival right now currently is ridiculous everybody freaking and their moms want to go to raves and music festivals i don't understand keep saying this and i'll say it again the moment you have a kid your happiness comes second to theirs you should not be prioritizing yourself your activities your fun when a child is involved that child is your responsibility so own up to it height matter in a man yeah but you know guys can't change that it's like a what personal problem a personal problem yeah well let's see how you look without I'm makeup changing. we're gonna judge you based on unnatural beauty no but you can change that what did i just yeah, give me my face face but to go out tonight why you're trying to change your appearance no everyone wears makeup so let me out. judge you based on yeah. something you can change let me judge you you got a man, but y'all don't live together. Do you expect him to help you pay your bills? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I do. And I'm going to tell you why. We don't live together. We don't live together. We don't live together. But you coming to get pussy, right? But we don't live together. You damn straight. Absolutely. So she's just selling pussy. Pretty much was what she just said right there. Like, what? No, absolutely not. Because he got his own bills. How the fuck am I expecting him to pay mine? You don't live with your girl. Would you help her pay her bills? Why would I do some shit like that? Like, it, 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 it makes no sense. Hell no. Nah. Why would I pick up some shit that you got on your own? You gotta love how one of the women said, hey, but you come to get me, right? Basically saying that just because this guy is looking up with her, she deserves to get her bills paid. Doesn't that make you something? Oh yeah, a street worker. The kind of women that always want their bills paid or want a lot of money from a man and think that offering Rock themselves dudes. is a good transaction, you literally just find a street worker. Martha Stewart said that if your husband cheats on you, then you should leave him immediately because he's terrible. And then the guy interviewing her was like, but didn't you have an affair early in the marriage? And she was like, <laughs> a lot of men do get married because they want a maid, a chef, a house cleaner. A ho actually, what I've heard, but men tell me if I'm wrong, is actually that men get married for emotional and physical connections, that men get married because they want a family and children, and Pretty that much. men get married because they love the person they're with and they want to spend their life with them. Pretty much. If that is completely off men, please let me know. But last I checked, men don't get married for My selfish hero. reasons usually. If they were selfish, they would in fact probably not get married because that makes more sense to a man who's selfish. This is a Pretty much. I can just hire a maid, hire a chef, 
and hire a prostitute just covers all the bases without having to deal with paying someone's bill. 100% true. It is so much cheaper just to be single, eat outside food 24 seven, fast food, whatever it is, and hire a mate to clean up your house once a week. Men were just selfish and only cared about themselves. We pursue that kind of lifestyle, but a lot of men do want that kind of emotional support. <laughs> And just like when I said men want emotional support, when we do need it, this is what ends up happening. We cave and vent to the woman we're married to, or else she'll just leave us. Pretty insane. <laughs> you're so beautiful. Stop. You're gonna make me sad. <laughs> you're so, I just wanna bite you. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> the right here is probably the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. So this guy's name is Brett, and when he was younger, he hooked up with a woman who was older than him. And then she was like, hey, will you be donor for me to have a baby because i want to have a baby before it's too late my clock is ticking and he was like um okay but i don't want to be a dad and she was like that's okay you don't have to be involved at all we'll even sign a contract that says you're just gonna donate and go so he agreed doing some by and she was like hey it worked i'm pregnant and he was like good congratulations then she turned around and called all his family members his mom his sisters his aunties and said hey your son is having a baby i'm pregnant come to the baby shower that's not not involving me this lady is manipulating him through his mom and dad by getting the mom and dad bonding with the baby that's about to come falling in love with the idea of their grandchild he eventually decides to just be in the baby's life so the baby's born he falls in love with it it's a daughter but then baby mom is acting crazy and controlling and not letting him see the daughter letting him see the daughter not letting him see the daughter then she puts him on child support and it's like 700 dollars a month plus back payment then on top of that this lady is going all over social media calling him a bad dad talking bad about him online and he's like i'm paying my child support i just want to see my women the kid i drive all the way out there to go see the kid and then she's like no you can't see him huh? then he finds out he's not the dad he's not the dad I ended up taking a paternity test and he is not that baby's dad she was already pregnant allegedly when she said hey come donate i want to have a baby she was already pregnant and she made some video on snapchat talking about well he's lying about the dna test because he said that he had custody of our daughter that day but he didn't what? So this is actually not the real clip. The real clip is like six minutes long of yeah, this man yeah. telling his story. And for those who are still confused, basically, this woman was pregnant prior. And I guess they don't like the guy she got pregnant from. So I wanted to put the blame on this man and somehow Watch. manipulate him into actually being the father and staying in the kid's life. That is pretty and This is why being a good man gets doesn't always get you good things. Insane. And once again, this wouldn't happen if women were just more selective with who they got with. Instead of using their body as a fun tool, they actually had some value and saved it for the right person. Hookup culture and sleeping around is only encourages kind of behavior. This guy obviously got lucky as well. But this is exactly why, gentlemen, it's super important to do DNA tests. A lot of people say, hey, that's very insecure. You should trust the woman you're with. Just remember that 30% of all DNA tests done end up not being the father. That is incredibly scary. Why would they lie? People always love to spout this question when people accuse people or lie about things. Look at this. Why would they lie? Because there's always a benefit to lying. People don't lie to make themselves in a worse position. That is stupid to do. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.